Hello Virgo, I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and do your weekly reading and this is for November 15th through the 21st for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Just overall messages, whatever the universe wants you to know. 15th through the 21st. If you are interested in the extended, you can find the link in the description box below. All right, November 15th please to the 21st. Healthy cross bed for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Or if you have the Virgo signature, this may apply to you. One more. Knight of Cups, Romantic Feelings. And Nine of Wands, which means that someone here is very guarded when it comes to their actions towards romance. We'll see. Three of Cups is nice. The overall situation, we're dealing with some type of good news. It can be reconciliation, it can be friends here right now. It's not giving me much mercury in cancer, but the vibe is just friendship. I feel like um, fun. Wow, three and three. So you are waiting to reconcile. It does not have to be romantic right now, but again, we'll see. Expectations. You're waiting for some type of invitation or someone is waiting for an invitation from you for when it comes to connecting here. There you are with the Knight of Pentacles energy. This may be a friendship. This may be financial uh, expectations of good news. But um, it may be someone you started a f friends with or actions that, again, are taking you there. With the Knight of Pentacles, we know it's a little bit of a methodical approach not that knight of cups that hey you know fairy tales romance it's a more of a stable secure but long-term type of action friendship i feel and there you are with eight of pentacles in the past you have mastered something here you have worked you have been diligent um you have been preparing for this for some time here the six of pentacles a lot of earth uh i'm getting here which is your energy moon in taurus there you want to uh, exchange something here you want something to be well balanced um virgo you want to share you want to open up i don't want to i don't feel like the best situation is for you to give or you feel like this is something that um, needs to go you know give and take both ways or someone needs to to kind of balance to be on the same um, level with you financially or otherwise what's coming in though someone feels trapped in their thoughts eight of swords if it is about the communication someone is still feeling trapped the immediate thing is like i have all these thoughts i'm not sure which way to go what to do Okay, how you see yourself or your behavior is the king of pentacles. I feel like this is your energy, but it may be another earth sign or a person. You want stability. You are going to act according to your own energy. Wealth, control, financial stability. Uh, someone may be very interested in you here or you might be influenced by, um, be careful by delayed news here with the page of swords. If this is your influences that you don't see yet, again, maybe not entirely true someone is still curious still wants to know there's some messages here externally very curious energy uh you're hoping uh for or fearing i don't know i'm i'm guessing hoping mostly the king of wands some of you may be hoping for this passionate um energy uh, which the king of pentacles is how you see yourself or your behavior but the king of wands is what you're hoping for completely different right Virgo, there's not going to be with that six of pentacles that you see possible sharing because someone is blocked here and this leaves someone with a very defensive attitude. There's still blockages there. For some of you may be uh, dealing with a Leo, by the way, because um, you're hoping for the king of wands and the seven of wands is coming in. There's still blockages. There's still defensiveness. There's still someone that feels like, I'm standing my ground. I'm not going to open up. And remember, this is what's challenging. It's like you want this good news or you're waiting for this, but someone is still observing from afar. 
you want something to come in let's see i i'm not getting a clear understanding except that you want things but they are not coming here something fell all right the the hangman fell so definitely there's something that has been hanging self-sacrificing there for some time so yeah um a lot of blockages let's let's clarify let's see what is this about what is this three of cups one more justice this justice is coming a lot lately there's some for some of you maybe legal matters but it, it's a matter of right or wrong it's a matter of balance you you thinking of that balance even when it comes to your mind so i don't know if some of you it's regarding divorce or some type of legal matters what is the justice here one more ten of pentacles okay we're definitely talking about some type of family issues here establishment virgo energy you may be waiting for some type of news regarding money guys regarding wealth or regarding a marriage or a commitment it looks very specific there with us what is the three of wands one more way too many cards okay so it is the seven of wands here expecting someone here that is very much again unless it's libra there's someone here that or is going through a, a divorce or then independent because you see the ten of pentacles you have here with the justice you're waiting for this good news or you know things reconciliation but someone from afar feels very blocked has turned their back or is not opening up feels <coughs> someone that is single someone that is independent so it's between commitment marriage or someone that you've been expecting coming forward here the queen of swords is not opening up she is very defensive i gotta tell you what is this knight of pentacles One more. You still are hoping for um, actions to take place. You still, in, in when it comes to your heart, Virgo, you are hoping for some type of actions. Again, well thought out, predicted, well prepared. Friendship as well, but I feel like finances, since the, the pentacles are coming a lot, or you're dealing with earth sign yourself. You are one but maybe with another one or you just there's something about um, money stability and someone's marriage or uh, commitment issues i don't know let's see what is the eight of pentacles one more whatever in the past you were left out financially or otherwise it looks like you improved you got out of it um, with the eight of pentacles and five of pentacles a lot of pentacles man <laughs> you see you have the six of pentacles now you know that whatever has been one-sided neglected or couldn't work out you feel now the best situation is to balance i just finished leo and they had the six of pentacles a lot and the five of pentacles if you have leo in your chart or if you dealing with leo that they have some kind of energy like yours here but um something worked you mastered a situation from the past you improved what is the six of pentacles when it comes to your thoughts or what you see possible one more three of pentacles okay you want to work something a partnership with someone you want to invest you want with the three of pentacles is mars in capricorn by the way and moon there's something here that you're hoping you and someone are going to be able to share this partnership together alliance or uh, if, if it is just about financial situation whatever building blocks here whatever you have worked you're hoping now is going to come where you can take something from it you know you have built and you have worked if this is strictly a working a financial situation 
hoping now that I um, am I going to receive something for others it's just this because you're getting a lot of threes it's a partnership it's a manifestation with someone else where both of you can help each other what is the eight of swords one more Wow, the Knight of Cups with the, you had the Nine of Wands. Someone is still very much here, stuck, but not able to open up Pisces energy. If someone is blocked, especially when it comes to their mind, blocked emotions, blocked feelings. There's so much romance with that Knight of Cups, but it's being trapped. What is this? One more. The king of pentacles that you have in, in influences this is who it is i don't know if it's you you will know here or your person uh, but the immediate situation is that this is not over the feelings are still there because you still though methodical in your own way you're still hoping does there someone here that has turned their back or feels like i cannot do anything by weight on this person and their defense here here is very Hi, ah, someone here is very defensive regarding their, their status. But I keep getting that the King of Pentacles here wants to open up. It's, it's blocked in this situation of I want to take actions towards love. Tell me about this King of Pentacles here. One more. Seven of Swords, look, the lovers here with the Two of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Some of you Taurus energy. What's going on here? Why is the King of Pentacles hiding? That's what is influencing. There's something here that is still being avoided or hiding. What is the Page of Swords external? One more. Someone is definitely thinking about you, watching, um, trying to manifest you. You are in this person's thoughts. They still want to know more. This is external. Some type of uh, news are being manifested. What is this page of source with the magician? One more. Yeah, someone is, has been lingering here for some time. Let me see if I can. Oh my God, that's way too much. <laughs> I apologize. Um, but yeah, someone now that has been um, for some time here thinking about you, they have not moved on. They're still been lingering. They're manifesting you. You don't see this. What is the king of wands in your hopes and fears? One more. They wanted to come out, so I took it. You really want so different from this king of pentacles and the seven of swords because what you're hoping for someone very passionate here that is ready to open up and not hold back. You're hoping a chance and passion is coming towards you. Or this is how this is turning around with that uh, Three of Cups. Just someone that feels like is going purely from the heart. What is the Seven of Wands as your best possible outcome? One more. The Three of Cups, the situation here, there's still blockages, guys. There's still someone that is not giving up. It feels very defensive, but there's something about um, standing your ground regarding this reconciliation. What is this? One more. This devil is really like lately is coming so much. And I know that it's not um, because it's coming with around a lot of lovers, ten of cups and all this. So it's someone that has an indulgence or an obsession or wants to be here, but they're trapped. 
there's blockages regarding this spark, this passion that someone is trying to initiate. The Seven of Wands is just standing there feeling opposed when it comes to reconciling. Because again, this is what's sabotaging that. It's like someone is not opening up or feels it's looking at the other person as detached. No, I'm not letting this. Someone before could not commit. There's still certain things that are being waiting because of karmic situation here, which the justice has come as well. Blocked. The, the, I know you're hoping here for a, a new opportunity and passion. I know that you are trying to collaborate and work something out, but he's saying right now there's still blockages unless someone here is ready to let their uh, defenses down and open up. That's when this Ace of Wands is going to come in. That's when someone is going to be able to get out of uh, their head and just, you know, go with the heart. Go with the heart. Because the King of Pentacles is just hiding. There is an opportunity here for reconciliation. It's going to bring a new beginning. But right now there's still opposition. There's still entrapment. There's not sharing. There's not opening up uh, here yet. And remember, that's the possible outcome with the current situation here. You decide you have free will. We will see in the extended here what's going on, guys, um, with your love life. Thank you. Bye-bye.